with the brandade, a creamy salt cod and potato spread I'm serving up with grilled sourdough toast. First thing is I took the salted cod, soaked it for about 24 hours, but I wanted to show you what this bad boy looks like. I mean, look at that. That is like cod jerky, super salty. We'll get into that in a second. Right now, potatoes. So we're gonna take these potatoes, roast them off in the oven. Then we're gonna take the salted cod that's had a chance to soak for about uh, 24 hours. And we're gonna get ourselves uh, into making a little bit with a little cream. And we're gonna put it all together and make, it really makes like a spread. And we'll hit it on some toasted sourdough points. Oh, outrageous. Just a touch of olive oil. There's gonna be a lot of flavor there, so I don't have to hit it with a bunch of salt. But we will hit some pepper. Mix that up together into the oven 20 minutes till they brown up and they'll mash into this fantastic, okay? There we go. Um, bacala, okay? Bacala. You'll see it in markets. Now that you've seen it on the show, you'll go like, wow, that's some funky stuff. I never knew what to do with it. Well, this is what you do. So we'll fire up a little bit of heat, drop some oil. Let's pull out a nice big chunk. Whoa. Soaked it in water for about 24 hours. It's still gonna be a little salty right now. Just, I'm warning you. It's a little bit on the tough side, but you gotta think, back in the day, this fisherman comes in. This fisherman comes in, he's got all of this cod. He's selling it off like hotcakes, or like cold cod. He's selling it off, and then what do you do with it? Well, different regions had different ways of taking care of food. I mean, in the United States, we made beef jerky, we smoked things a lot, we cured the bacon. But the whole point is, you had to preserve it, and this was one of the greatest ways. So, hot pan, we're gonna drop that in there. There we go. Let me get this other piece in there, too. Okay, there we go. Now, we're not really sauteing this. We're gonna hit it with some heavy cream right off the bat. Now, what would go really nice with this? Exactly, some garlic, but not just any garlic because this is, we're talking about subtleties and flavors and we're really mixing a lot together. I roasted some garlic whenever I have time on a Sunday afternoon, I'm not doing much and I see a bunch of garlic sitting there all roasted. I mean, this is just great. You could heat this back up and it's a great little smear for Toast points by itself. So we hit in some roasted garlic. Now, one of my favorite herbs, a little fresh thyme. You can tie this up if you want. I'm just gonna drop it in, but I'm gonna fish it out here in a little bit, okay? Now, let's hit it with a little white pepper. Just a touch. And I'm just gonna sit here and let this simmer for a little bit. So we'll just let this work. I got potatoes for this fantastic brandade with the salted cod that's gonna, I don't have anything that rhymes, but it really sounded cool for a second. I was gonna rhyme that together. Throw those in. Those roasted off. We'll take that, uh, we'll get the masher. Give it a quick little mash. These are nice and super soft, okay? The Yukon Golds are perfect for this. A red potato would also look nice. I leave the skins on. I'm going rustic with it. There you go, okay. Let me get out the thyme. I dropped some fresh thyme in there. Uh, I didn't tie it up, but that's it, I could find it. So what do we have in here? We've got the salted cod, we've got the roasted garlic, we've got the heavy cream. Drop all that in. You know what it needs, though. We need a little uh, acid in this as well. So let's get a little acid here. Another lemon. These are so soft. Got the seeds. Okay, a little lemon juice in there. I'll see where it's at. It, it might need a little bit more. We'll just we'll kind of test it. The potatoes just tighten it up big time. I mean, they're the ones that really bring it together and make it this really nice spread. I could put it in the food processor, but then you lose the texture of the fish and then it just doesn't work. This will go great right on top of those bread points. So here is some parsley to go on top of the fantastic brandade right here. And that is where we got that salted cod with the potatoes all put together and a little bit of cream. The salted cod, which a lot of people be freaked out, you did what with the fish? It's salted, it's dried out, and you had to re-soak it in some water? Hey, trust me, that with the roasted Yukon gold potatoes, all brought together with a little heavy cream, some roasted garlic. Mmm. It's so rich. You're just looking for that glass of wine. You're sitting by the pool any time of the year, and that's the great thing about this salted cod, any time of the year, you want it, 
you got a super hearty and not super expensive meal.